All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show, The Truth with Ben Jokes. Now, I have said here many times that one of the most important virtues a leader must possess is empathy. Because most of the times, leaders are not directly faced or affected by the problems of the society the way the citizens are. So it is the sense of responsibility and the empathy that these leaders feel towards the citizens who are directly affected that will move the leaders into action. And that is why where a leader has no empathy, the people are in trouble. And that happens to be the present state of Nigeria. First of all, Nigerians are suffering. The economy is in comatose. But the Tinubu administration made a budget that allocated billions to things that don't matter. Why? Because they do not care. Now, insecurity is everywhere. More lives have been lost to insecurity in this January 2024 than the first three months of last year. Kidnappers have resumed with full force. They have laid siege on many states in Nigeria, including the FCT. And amidst all these, Tinubu and his national security advisor, Nuru Ribadu, are in France as we speak. And as if that is not enough, Presidency, a few hours ago, released a statement concerning security that got Nigerians extremely furious. Before I show you that statement from Presidency and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you these updates. Breaking. Bandits kidnap Federal Housing Authority director close to military camp in Abuja. Andova, a director at Federal Housing Authority, Federal Capital Territory, FCT, has been kidnapped by gunmen suspected to be bandits. Sahara reporters gathered the incident happened at Pambara New Extension, Buari Central Area of Federal Capital Territory, at about 12.30 a.m. on Thursday. Pambara New Extension is about 200 meters away from the military camp and checkpoint in Buari. The kidnappers were said to have gained access through the fence after cutting the barbed wires. They also gathered that all attempts by the vigilantes in the area to rescue the victims were abortive because they were poorly armed. However, Josephine Ade, FCT police spokesperson, was not reachable when Sarah reporters attempted to reach her. They also reported how two teenage sisters were kidnapped by gunmen suspected to be bandits at Guita community, Chikakore in Kubwa, Buari Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. All this happening along Kubwa Road in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. What a shame. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Let's take some of the tweet reactions. This tweet here says, can they just find their way to Aso Rock already? <laughs> and this tweet says, in the capital city, with all the paramilitary and military installations, I'm telling you, this is a serious issue. And this tweet by Balo says, their level of confidence increases by the day because of the people that are enabling them. They know the people they are working with. And by now, everybody should know what is happening. And this tweet by Alpha the Great says, Presidency will come out and say kidnap banditry, not as bad as journalists report. <laughs> we are getting to that. And this tweet here says, I think when legends like Peter Obi was warning that Abuja will one day feel effect of insecurities, we all thought he was joking. Now, see it. Mm. And this tweet by Tony says, the alarming rate of kidnapping in Abuja is unfortunate. You heard that. Now, just yesterday, we spoke about Peter Obi's visitation to that family of six that was released about a week ago from kidnappers' den. In their case, people had to crowdfund on Twitter to pay the ransom. Three days ago, kidnappers attacked a school bus after school uh, in a kitty state and they kidnapped some students and their teachers. Reports reaching us now is that kidnappers are flogging them and they are sending the videos to their parents. Few hours ago, two girls were also kidnapped in Abuja. They are asking for 30 million. And now, the director of Federal Housing Authority has been kidnapped. And in his case, they went into his compound to go and kidnap him. And in all these, you would think that 
the presidency would show empathy but look at the kind of shocking statement that is coming out of the presidency look at how the papers reported it kidnap banditry not as bad as journalists report nigeria not among top 10 kidnapping nations presidency the media have been urged to exercise restraint in their reportage concerning the current security challenges in some parts of the country. Tinubu's media aide, Bayon Ononuga, stated this in a statement issued on Wednesday in Abuja. Mr. Ononuga said the media had the responsibility to promote laudable actions by the government and make positive criticism based on the overriding national interest. According to him, screaming headlines that paint gory pictures of the situation will only hurt the country by scaring away genuine local and foreign direct investments. Media reporting about cases of kidnapping, communal killings, and isolated terrorism acts must show some moderation by not giving the impression that all Nigerians no longer sleep with two eyes closed or are not safe in going about their day-to-day -day businesses. To sell our newspaper or clickbait, we tend to exaggerate and embellish, sometimes forgetting the social responsibility of the media, not to give the impression that our country is under siege by criminals or that every nook and cranny of our country is under their stranglehold. One of our newspapers took this responsibility to heart in its report on the same Tuesday, making its major headline the effort by security agents to rein in the minority vagabonds in our midst, he said. The presidential aide stated that, though Nigeria had yet to reach the zenith of security, it was still not the worst country in terms of insecurity. For instance, he said that in the robbery and kidnapping, Nigeria was not among the most endemic countries, adding that global listing put the country at less than one person to 100,000 persons involved in the crime. In a report by the World Population Review, Nigeria is not among the top 10 countries in the world with kidnapping epidemic. Turkey leads with 42 people kidnapped out of 100 people. Lebanon is second with 15 people out of 100,000. And Kuwait is third with 12 out of 100,000 held in captivity. Canada, Belgium, South Africa, New Zealand, Pakistan, Eswatini, and United Kingdom make up the remaining top 10. Kidnapping in Nigeria is 0 0.334 per 100,000. The frightening headlines on Tuesday were based on the report by the Civil Society Joint Action Group that calls for an emergency on the security situation. Surprisingly, oblivious that our security agencies have been working in that spirit for a long time since 2009, Mr. Nonuga added. You heard that. Now, at the beginning of this video, I spoke about empathy. And I said that when leaders lack it, the people are in trouble. You heard what Bayon Onuga said. He said, why are they exaggerating these cases? He said they should not be reporting them the way they are reporting them, that it would affect foreign investors. People's lives are being taken. People are being traumatized. Nigerians are living in fear. And because it has not touched him, because he moves around with security and all that, he doesn't believe the way the issues are being reported. And even the confirmed cases, according to him, it's not a big deal. He said Nigeria is not in top 10 worst countries when it comes to kidnapping. He said, so why are we making noise about it? We should wait until we get into the top 10 before we begin to talk about it. He said, we are talking too much. We are not in top 10. We should wait until we are first or second, like every other bad thing in this world, before we now begin to talk about it. This is pathetic. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet by the boss says, Why is it when it comes to bad things that presidency will be comparing Nigeria with other countries? But when it comes to good things, they never compare Nigeria to other countries. Now they are comparing kidnapping and banditry with other countries. And this tweet here by Festus Okunlola says, Anyways, the first lady has asked for prayers and the bandits are not even looking at only the ordinary citizens. Again, that is it. They are targeting everybody down, traditional rulers, politicians. And this tweet here by Daniel says, Nigeria not among top 10 kidnapping nations. Really? 
So that's enough excuse to undermine the issue. News of bandit attacks and kidnapping dominates the headlines literally every week. But presidency thinks it is not that serious. Such a disgraceful statement. Very disgraceful. And this tweet by Mary says, This man is not serious. I thought I had seen it all, but I lied. Is it when we are forced in kidnapping that you will act? My sister, help me ask her. This is gross incompetence, wickedness, a lack of empathy, and that is just everything that summarizes what the APC are. And I keep saying it here. These guys have come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Can you just take a second or take a minute or an hour to just sit down on your own and cast your mind back to what this country was before the APC was formed? You really need to cogitate, to think deeply, to begin to see some of those things because it now looks as if it's been 100 years since these guys came in. This country was relatively peaceful. Things were going well. Uh, Nigeria was having very high rating under Jonathan until this evil association called APC was formed. Look at what Bayonanuga is saying about this serious state of insecurity in this country. Meaning the plan they have for the country, they've not even achieved it. What we are seeing now is just child's play. So, there is no gain saying that things will only get worse for the common man under the APC because these guys are not ready to stop until they bury this country completely. The only way we can have our freedom and get this country back to what it used to be is to get the APC out of power but until then make i still enter town <laughs> make i go get some ogbonge political news where will i go like why because not because of now now i did here so don't go away don't go away.